recording. So welcome everybody, welcome to working with the digestive system. So this is the third week that we have been working on the digestive system. And uh, today is Hostess, December 21st, 2023. So happy Hostess to all of you. Um, why why is there a, a Christmas red at the back? It's because we 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 actually working on um, digesting carbohydrates this week. We've worked on first week was di, um, improving our digestion on digesting um, protein, and then last week it was improving on um, digesting fatty like fatty foods. So um, each each of those really is a different part of, our, of the digestive tract. tract. Uh, the first one, protein was mostly stomach and then the digesting oil and fatty foods is liver and gallbladder. And carbohydrates is working more specifically on the small intestine and the pancreas. So those are the two major organs that we will be focusing on for this episode. So <clears throat> welcome. And before we begin, I would like to take everybody into a short meditation to um, make sure that we are present because when we are present, we connect with our own body. And when we connect with our own body, we can listen to what the body actually wants from us and be able to really work with our body better. So let's begin by just taking in a deep breath. So breathe in through your nose slowly and deeply. And let it all go. Breathe in again, same time through your nose. So as you breathe in, make sure that your whole body is expanding. You are expanding your lungs, your diaphragm, your whole body. So full body breathing. And when you can breathe in no more, then just start to breathe out slowly as well. So one more time, breathe in, full body breathe in, slowly through your nose. And then breathe out slowly as well. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for you. Use your breath to communicate with your body that it is okay to let go of the stress. This is the time that we can feel safe and be safe and let go of the fight or flight mode that we may have been in during the earlier times during the day. For now, it is okay to just relax and breathe in and out deeply. And as you do that a few more times, just wherever it is that you sense any tension in your body, just let that part of your body to relax even more. Especially around the shoulder, we tend to hold a lot of stress around shoulders. So let it go.
wherever it is that you tend to hold stress in your body, just consciously allow that part of your body to relax now. And when you feel your body becoming more relaxed, then switch your focus into your heart area. And your heart is the organ that receives directly information that comes from your soul. So it actually is kind of the modulator between the non-material part of you and the material part of you. So as you focus in your heart, you are focusing on all parts of you, parts of you that you can see and touch and the parts of you that you cannot, you may not be able to see, and you may not be able to feel or touch, but are still part of you. And just notice all of you. And include all parts of you. And when you do that, also call back all of your energies, all of your attention, and all of your intention. During the daytime, we, some of us at least, have a regular job, nine to five job, and some of us has other types of jobs. And we send our attention, intention, and energies out to do our job, to interact with other people, whether for work or for family. In this moment, though, call back all of your attention to yourself. As preparation for healing yourself, call back all of your energies, all of your attention, and all of your intention to be with yourself. This is time for you, for all of you. Love yourself and respect yourself enough to give yourself this time to have your 100% undivided attention. And just feel what it feels like to have 100% of your own attention on you. Remember what that feels like. And when you have call back all of your energy all of your attention and all of your intentions to you. And take a deep breath in one more time. Let it all go and come all the way back into the room. And welcome back. Feels a little different when you have all of your own attention 
your energy, your in the form of attention is really the most valuable thing in the world. That's why there are so many, I would say people, things, media, who wants to get your attention, to get you to look at something or listen to something. That's because your attention as a creator, your attention, whatever it is that you put your attention into, that's how you let the universe know that this is important. And when you put your attention to, then you start to shape that reality into whatever it is that really resonate from within yourself. So that's why attention, giving yourself your own attention 100% in itself is already a healing practice. And it's, in this case, it's a, it's a doorway into the rest of this healing journey that we are on um, this evening. So as I mentioned, we are focusing on two areas in our body. It's all part of our digestive system, um, more specifically our small intestine and also pancreas. Um, and I think when we're talking about pancreas, we know that blood sugar is in, it's in it as well. So those, but blood sugar is really not a, an organ. It's more of a mechanism that the pancreas um, controls quite a bit. So before we begin, I just want to um, ask all of you to start to tune in to those two organs within yourself. The small intestine, so the small intestine is kind of just below the stomach. There is there are that, that small intestine. And then the pancreas is a little bit to the um, left side of our body, um, the left of the stomach area. Just set the intention to connect with those two organs. And as you tune into them, just kind of say hello to those, to your own organs. And then also intentionally breathe into them. Just imagine that you can breathe in, bring energy in directly into your small intestine area. Now, you may not be able to bring in oxygen through your nose right into there, not directly. However, energetically, you can do that. Is As you breathe in, you're not just bringing in Oxygen, you're actually bringing in energy as well. So bring the energy in and just direct the energy into your small intestine and your pancreas area. Just connect with those two organs. <clears throat> And because we are all connected, so our so as I start to um, tune into this, then I would be able to tune into what it is that 
like which organ should I work with first? Okay. <clears throat> so So pancreas. So let's do pancreas first. So let's link the pancreas. So pancreas, link that to our liver. And link that to the duodenum, which is part of our intestine. And then also link that to the gallbladder. And as we link all those four parts of our bodies together so that they can function better together, let's do the eye position. So have your eyes and look up to the right hand upper corner. This is my right side. Yours would be opposite. So right hand upper hand corner, move your eyes, don't move your head. So just have your eyes look up there. And just let it stay there for a little bit. Because we link all those four parts of our body together. So those they talk to, they're talking to each other. So we just give them a little bit of time to exchange information before and now it seems karma. So let's move down to the right lower hand corner, which is this, this side. As your eyes look down on the right side, And then move to the left upper hand corner with your eyes. And stay there for a little bit. And now you can move down to the left lower hand corner. And then go back to original position of right up hand corner. And let's check. Let's check how many patterns there are that we need to move through. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty, 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 about 22 patterns that your body is working on to resolve. So <clears throat> just take a deep breath into your pancreas area.
And actually, I feel some emotions coming up. I don't know if you guys feel anything, but um, that's what I'm feeling. So let's bring up the uh, help module. How is everybody doing? By the way, I felt pain in my liver area a little bit. Okay, just just deep, just breathe deeply into liver area. Oh, a few more people signed in. Hello there. We are working on the pancreas and then um, hopefully do some work on the small intestine as well later on. But right now, I am actually feeling a lot of emotions coming up just by linking those four organs together. But of course, um, the liver and the gallbladder would have a lot of emotions attached to it. Okay. Bring in some angel or archangel energy. Let's do that to speed things up. Okay. Archangel Michael. Definitely want to call in for stabilizing and focusing our energy. Archangel Gabriel. So that we can hear the messages. Lira. And of course, Archangel Raphael for healing. We're doing some time travel. So let's bring in the cellular time phase patterns. Bring that in. So the time that we are going back to is actually a lot earlier on on Earth, I think we are clearing some lineage things. That's why the time travel module wants to come in.
Okay, I can just them now as well. Because I think we we need some love. Let's bring in the angel, the archangel of love. How's the liver doing? Better? Liver doing better. Okay. We're going to bring in the master endocrine module as well. Everybody okay? Stop it, I don't know why. Um so I'm going to bring in poison patterns removal module as well. What kind of poison are we talking about? It could um specifically okay, heavy metal is coming to mind. Um, that's a lot of etheric interference. So I'm bringing in etheric purification module. Peak harmonic or the pancreas.
Okay. Let chemistry faster, bringing that in. So, Keep breathing deeply in. Bringing in the shock trauma hormone reset. I am getting a pause button. So I just want to check in with everybody. How are you guys doing? No news is good news? Yawning. Okay. <laughs> good doing some release Feel a lot of wellness here mm -hmm. the throat is each each okay cool That is the uh, two things the poison pattern removal, that one is working, and then the, the shock trauma hormone reset. That um, I think that's what the, the root energy is, the, the root energy is. a lot of um, second chakra being affected as well.
I think I still need a little bit more time before I can move on to this morning test time. Deep breathing. Feeling a lot of shifts. Energy is getting a little calmer. So I'm going to move on. So I'm going to link the few things together for the small intestine. First one is chemistry. We've already balanced a little bit of our internal um, blood chemistry. So let's bring that in again. Chemistry. Blood sugar. So liver, protein, metabolism, gallbladder, liver, stomach. And duodenum, pancreas, and bring in the small intestine as well this time. And let's do our iPad and game. So go look up. Eyes look up to the right up hand corner.
Okay, now we can go down on the right. Okay, that was a big shift. To the left. It's another shift. Down on the left. And back up to up on the right. How many patterns? One, two, three, eight, eight patterns this time. Bring in. Victor Franco, blood sugar. No, Frick, Victor Frank, blood sugar. Black chemistries again. I think in merge in as well for the immune system. Emerging. I'm really feeling the merging. Okay. Let's bring in balanced digestion. We put it right into a small intestine area. I feel a little bit of stomach pain. Okay. I also feel heavy on the uh, stomach area or small intense. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So let's, that's why, the, yeah, let the, um, the balanced digestion start working on it. Good, you guys are feeling it. Okay. 
Okay, let's bring in the calm digestion as well. <laughs> How was that? Talking, working. Working. It's working. Like that. Yeah, I think so. Probably. I also want to bring in warming the stove. That's really um circulating energy in the lower part of the body. How's everybody doing so far? I'm getting a really bad headache. <laughs> okay. That's, um, that's, yeah. The other things, um, I was getting congested, that cleared up, but now the head, I'm sure the headache will clear up, but just came up. Mm -hmm. Better now? Yes, thank you. Yeah, it's some, it's some emotions. I feel much better in my stomach. I mean, lighter. I had a little bit of cough, so I was coughing a little bit.
don't need to cough anymore. No, it, it was there a little bit, but now it's okay. Because I drank water too and then. So what I... What came to me was um, a lot of vaccine damage. So I don't mean the re recently. So maybe recently, but it's really um, vaccines from long time ago. Childhood, kids, yes, probably. Yeah, childhood because... vaccines. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, a lot of that trying to come up to be cleared. And um, the time travel came in. It was interesting because I actually saw Earth. They showed me Earth. That's not this Earth. It's, I mean, not the Earth that we know now, but it was Earth from like many thousands of years ago. So it was from a different civilization, Earth. That was really interesting. This, um, so they they showed me that because the vibration of Earth at that time was much higher, and our body was adjusted to that. And now our body has gone through a lot of um, changes, and it is. Like it's kind of the body has been has been shut down a lot and now it's coming back up. So it actually what the, um, the time traveling was to go back to kind of let our body know that, you know, yeah, we've done this before already and, and bring that forward. There was a time when our body was used to, was very used to high frequency. So that was what came to me. I thought I'd share these things. Yeah, that's why the 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 poison patterns removal that one showed up. It's because like all the uh, old vaccines injuries um, needed to be cleared out and all that. And then lots of emotions showed up, and it's because um, stomach. It's a lot of emotions locked in in the digestive system. So when we work in the digestive systems, those emotions needs to be released. So those are a couple of things. I think everybody is fairly stable now, right? Did I miss anything? Yeah. Okay. Good. Yes, we are good. I start to cry a lot, and now I am good. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, there was a lot of emotions that came up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's great. Because they, they needed to be released for a body to work, go back to being, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Pristine. pristine. So, like new. Okay, I think our healing work tonight is done. However, because today is solstice, so I thought I'd take everybody into the meditations so that we can all come together to celebrate solstice as well. <laughs> 